Hi, I'm the mighty Quinn. Welcome to South Florida, the place I live and the place I love. Let's go through a back and bicep workout right now. And I'm gonna teach you about intensity, not duration. So sit back and let's rock and roll. In training back, my basic philosophy is this, to properly warm up the back. To do this, I like to do either chins or pull downs. With most other bodybuilders, usually as a primary exercise, I don't. I believe it is only used as a warm up. Note that my grip is a little bit more than shoulder width. I am pulling basically with the lats, not with the shoulders and arms. This is a very important key to warming up the lats and to get ready for your next exercises, which will be heavier exercises. One of my favorite back exercises is the seated cable roll. Reason being is how much of stretch I can get and how much of the inner lat I can actually work. Note how I'm pulling the bar low to my abdomen and not high to my upper chest. Reason being is through this exercise, I believe that the higher you pull into the chest, the more you're pulling with the arms and shoulders. My technique allows you to work the lats more than the arms and shoulders. Through my years of training, I've been noting for having great lower lat development. What I'm about to teach you is one of the secrets of the Mighty Quinn. I believe that the reason why most bodybuilders don't have lower lat development is because when they're doing dumbbell rows and other exercises, they're pulling the dumbbell or the barbell too into their chest. Whereas you note here how much I'm pulling it into the lower lat and hip area, which forces me to isolate the lower lat more get a greater stretch and actually isolate the lower lats with more intensity. Another secret to my back training has been this. I do exercises which allow me to have a greater range of motion. What I mean by this is exercises that allow me to pull my arms farther into my back. This has allowed me to have a great back on stage and work on my wrist. My final back exercise is dumbbell pullovers. My philosophy about this, which is different from other bodybuilders, is I use dumbbell pullovers to isolate my frontal lat and intercostal. Note here how much stretch I can get and how much the actual lat is being worked. Now most bodybuilders use this to work pec. I don't believe in that. The proper thing is here also, the stretch is very, very important. Also note how my elbows are slightly bent to work the actual frontal lat. Another key point also is the amount of weight you use. Be very careful. This exercise can ruin the frontal shoulder area if done too heavy and not with proper form. Note how strict I am going and how much I am controlling the actual weight. This is to work the lats, not the chest and shoulder area. Again, I emphasize care in this exercise. Let's move into biceps. Probably my favorite body part, what I'm known for best. My first exercise I believe in is using a compound motion, whether it be dumbbells or barbells. What I mean by compound is something that allows me to use a great range of motion, but allows me to cheat just a little bit to get that extra weight. Notice here I sway just a little bit just to get the weight up. Reason being is this is because I'm using an actual heavier poundage. Bridges have to be, I think, my most favorite exercise for one particular reason. I cannot cheat through this exercise. Whereas the first exercise, you have a greater range of motion to pull the weight up here, you're really forced to just contract the bicep. Through my years of training, I have noticed that this has helped to develop my biceps more than any other exercise. Not only does it work on muscle density, but also works on shape of the bicep. I believe this exercise has helped me a great deal and to have one of the best biceps in the world. Uh, 
I feel the best way to end a bicep workout is dumbbell concentration. After the last two exercises, you're pretty pumped and you're pretty full. Now let's work on the peaks. Notice how I just rest my arm on my leg, but it's not fully on the leg. This allows me to have a greater range of motion and not cheat so much through the exercise. Again, proper emphasis on a greater range of motion. Okay, what I've just shown you here is my philosophy of high intensity training with low duration. The key things to my type of training is heavy weight with strict form. Not to overtrain or let my ego get in the way that I'm gonna hurt myself. And always remember, walk the walk, don't talk the talk. This is Mike Quinn coming to you from Muscle Magazine.